Good morning, friends. It's come to my attention that there is a certain Dr. G who has the monopoly on science experiments. Now, I'm also a Dr. G, and I'm going to show you a science experiment today. We're going to start with a Ziploc bag, and then we're going to pour a bit of water into it. There we go. Full of water. I'm going to close the top of the zip, Ziploc bag. I'm sure I can do this. Problem is, I did standard grade science. It's in the trick. That means I'm probably overqualified with this experiment. So, what do you think is going to happen if I take a pencil and jab it in? Well, the water's going to come out, of course. Didn't happen. What if I take a second pencil? Another one? Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Um, see, see. Uh, so it's, uh, it's working fine. And the point is that when you stick a pencil into this bag, strangely, the water doesn't come out. And I'm going to explain this to you in a minute. Ah, now what's the point? What's the moral of this story, of this science experiment? Let Dr. G tell you what it means. These pencils are meant to symbolize the bad things that can happen to us. And that uh, plastic bag full of water was supposed to be us. And when bad things happen to us, uh, we threaten to fall apart, just like the water threatened to come out. We'll pretend that it was like that. But God uses all things, and He brings them together for the good of those who love Him. In Romans 8, we hear about this uh, beautiful truth. God makes all things work together for the good of those who love Him. This morning, Bevan is going to preach about uh, looking for God's help. The psalmist says in Psalm 122, I look to the mountains, I look to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Every time we find ourselves in difficult situations, including this pandemic that we're going through now, we can look to God and He will make sure we don't leak all over the place. <laughs> 